And in this video, I would, I would like to talk about the yin yang balance. Um, we practice Tai Chi, we practice Qigong, we want the well being. Um, as one of the sayings is, we are finding the balance of yin and yang. Uh, that's too simple to, in an expression. Uh, in the Chinese um, well being theory, Yes, we do have, we want, we are seeking balance of yin and yang. Um, but then it generates different situations of yin and yang of a body. So I would like to highlight these situations that, um, or circumstances that your body behaves. So just to give you some idea to start up, to start with. Okay, so these are nine comparisons of yin and yang. The best, the optimum of yin and yang balance is this one, the center. So the black, the shade one is yin, the white, the hollow one is yang, so it's yin and yang. The red line represents the optimum level, so it's the best, the best balance of yin and yang. So it's not just we have the same amount of yin and the same amount of yang. So otherwise, it will be the top will be too much yin and too much yang at the same level. So it's hyper, hyper. And this one is too low, lower than optimum level, optimum level. But the yin and yang are both too low, but they are the same, so balanced. So this is hypo. Okay. So we have these three situations that we so-called yin-yang balance. But in fact, this is the best. This is not good, this is not good, even though they are balanced. Okay? On the left, we have three situations that the yin, yin is l l more than yang. Okay? So we have too much yin in the optimum level, or over the optimum level, but too less, too little yang. So the yang is uh, below the optimum level. This one, the yin more than above the optimum level, the yang is at just right. But so is you have too much yin. And this one too much yin, too, li too little yang. This one, the yin is at the optimum level, but you have too little, uh, too little yang, okay? So vice versa on over this side. Um, okay, this one here. that uh, we have too much yang and too little yin. Too much yang, optimum level of yin, um, optimum level of yang and too little yin. So to seek your balance, the first is to define um, to find out what is the current situation of your body, okay, whether you are too much yin, too much yang, or you feel like you're balanced, and are you actually um, too much yin and yang, or too little yin and yang, or is your your yang is good, your yin is not good, or vice versa, yin is good, the yang is not good, okay? In this video, the idea of this video to give you um, uh, the concept of yin and yang balanced okay it's not just okay I got I want to yin and yang balance you have to find out whether you have too much yin too less too little yin too much yang too little yang or yang okay in in, uh, in Mandarin in Cantonese it's yang yang so it's pronounced different but uh, nowadays it's all yin and yang so I just say it in Mandarin Putonghua. so you have to find out Define yourself whether you are which of these nine situations that you are, and then try to fix it. You know, if you in under this situation, you are too much yin, too little yang. You are, you want to cut down your yin, but also you want to bring up a yang. Yeah. If you bring in too much yin, but you have not increasing your yang, you will fall into this category. You are looking for to getting balance, but you have not enough yang. Okay. This one simple, try to just cut down the yin. And this one is try to bring up the yang. 
vice versa. So you have to find find out what happens to you and to seek the approach to get balanced. So these are the say uh, nine situations or different combinations of yin and yang. So our, our goal is to go to this, the optimum level of both yin and yang. So we are going this way, this way, this way, okay, all to the center. And instead of from this one and shoot to this one, all right, and this one shoot to this one, or this one, uh, say, if in, you are in this situation, you are too much yin and too little yang, and you want to break uh, the optimum level is yang, uh, it's good, but the yin is too much yin. Instead of cutting the yin, you bring up more yang, then you overshoot, you go hyper. All right? And this one, if you go, you got just the right level of yin and too little, too little yang, uh, instead of bringing up the yang level, you cut down the yin level, you go to hypo. Okay? So, you have to find your, define yourself first. Um, so, this is, these are the situations. I can't tell you how to diagnose yourself. Um, so go to see a Chinese uh, medical doctor to define, you know, get your, get your diagnosed. Of course, there are, there are simple ways to just roughly to tell, you know, which situation you are. But um, it's according to, the, you, you go and search about the books and videos or whatever. Okay, I'm um, just to highlight the, uh, the ninth situations. So this is the yin yang balance you are seeking. This is what we, we are looking for. This is what we want to go to. Uh, if you are to start up, you are, this is level, very good. Try to maintain it. But if you are the other eight situations, you find you have to define the correct one and works towards it. Otherwise, you you go to others, okay, which is uh, not exactly what we want, even though they look like they are balanced, but they are not at the correct level. So this is the balance of yin and yang.